After an underwhelming start to the season, the Chicago Wolves are looking to secure some wins this week. For the Wolves' goaltending duo, that means deflecting some criticism unique to their positions. That's a big part of being a goaltender is, uh, you know, taking some heat sometimes and, and uh, just having to keep your mouth, keep quiet, keep your mouth shut and just keep working and things have a way of coming around. Um, but I think as a goaltender, you either get uh, too much blame or too much credit. And your mindset has to be to just stay even keel and um, not get too high or too low, stay confident and uh, trust yourself. For Phoenix, that means putting the team's losses firmly behind him. You just gotta have a short memory. I mean, you can't really be, you know, these things happen throughout the year. Um, you know, you go through slumps where, you know, maybe things aren't going your way. Maybe you can do a few things differently and turn the page because, you know, there's nothing we can really do about that. We can only do uh, stuff about the games coming up. So I think just short memory and make sure we're doing the little things right and working hard. The Wolves started the season with three goaltenders on their roster, which meant less time in net for each of them. While the coaching staff has pared it down to just Bennington and Copley, there still isn't a clear number one goaltender. You want one guy to take the net and be in charge, but when you got two great goaltenders, as these young guys are, you have two number ones every night. I wouldn't consider either one of them a backup. It's not the best situation for the goalies, but it's good competition at, uh, on the other side of it. So uh, right now that's what we have, and we do our best to work with it, and they do their best. They've been very cooperative, and uh, they worked really hard. So. Uh, right now, that's the way it is, and you got to get through it. Because Bennington and Copley can't control who gets to start on any given night, they focus on what they can control. I just want to come in and work hard, and every time I get a chance to play, I want to make sure I'm giving my team a chance to, to win the game. And, um, and then, you know, whatever, anything is out of my control, I just don't really want to worry about, you know, when they're going to put me in or anything like that. I just want to make sure I'm contributing to the team and I can and working hard, and, um, and hopefully, you know, everything else will come together. We both. Uh, have the abilities and um, to play every night and you know we believe in ourselves and but uh, the situation at hand here is is a little different and I think we're handling it well we're pushing each other and um, we're helping each other but at the same time we're worrying about what we can control um, you know personally I I come to the rink and I just want to work on my game you know you, I try not to worry about how he's doing or uh, stuff like that, it's out of my control, right? So um, right now we're kind of going back and forth and we're kind of hunting for a win right now. So um, obviously you want to be the guy to get that win for your team and show that confidence and and uh, and have the team be confident in you. It's Barbashev, a high flip. Agassino trying to beat the buzzer. Michael at the save. And the Wolves shut out Iowa five to nothing. AHL career shutout number seven for Phoenix Copley in his second against Iowa. Copley delivered the team's first shutout of the year Saturday against the Iowa Wild, but it remains to be seen who will get the lion's share of the starts in the net for the Wolves, or whether that is even necessary for this team to succeed.